auction successfully sold. Hello, Hobby. Today is Monday, January 30th. I'm your host, Meerkat. Welcome to Card News Now, where we will cover what's happening in the hobby today. First up, as is Monday tradition, we will go over the new releases set to hit shelves and sites this Wednesday, February 1st. Kicking things off is 2021-22 Upper Deck Synergy Hockey, making its return with a 125-card base set featuring rookies, stars, and legends. Each hobby box includes four exceptional acetate cards and can be found for pre-sale through most larger online retailers right around $100 per hobby box. Next up is the always popular Panini Zenith Football. Collect the 242 card base set featuring 100 veterans, 100 rookies, and 42 RPAs of the top rookies from the 2022 NFL Draft. Every box contains one rookie patch autograph, one additional autograph, one base, one rookie, and two inserts per hobby box, which are being pre-sold through most larger online retailers between $275 and $325 per. Our final Wednesday release is the debut of 2022 Topps Gilded Collection Baseball, where elegance and class reign supreme in this all-new premium product, as the game's royalty of the past and present get to shine with a beautiful arrangement of golden flourishes. Each box contains three chrome etched chrome base cards, one gold framed autograph, and one gold etched chrome rookie autograph per box, and can be found between $380 and $450 per box through most larger online retailers right now for pre sale. Next up, well, more releases, but this time we're being treated to two different Tops.com exclusives. This Wednesday, February 1st, Topps is set to release both 2022 Bowman Draft Sapphire Baseball and 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball Ben Baller Edition exclusively through their website. The 2022 Topps Chrome Ben Baller Baseball Checklist puts Baller spin on the main 2022 Topps Chrome MLB set and does include the full 220 card base set plus five short printed cards, n cards number 221 through 225, and they all have his signature chain logo. There is also just a total of 21 signers on the checklist, but they do include names like Julio Rodriguez, Juan Soto, Ronald Acuna Jr., and Wander Franco. Although Topps hasn't teased a price set, if we're comparing this third installment of Ben Baller Chrome to the previous two, last year's cost $240 a box and the debut year cost $250 a box, so we expect it to stay in that price range. The other web exclusive release, 2022 Bowman Draft Sapphire Edition Baseball, is your typical 2022 Bowman Draft checklist, but takes on the full base chrome lineup and puts that oh so coveted sapphire spin on it. Like previous years, there are no autographs in this set, and we do expect a good amount of shorter print parallels to chase, but we don't have that info just yet. Like Ben Baller, Chrome pricing has not yet been released for this product, and it's harder to gauge as last year's price tag of $200 a box was a big jump from the $70 pricing the previous year. If you want in on one of these Tops.com exclusive products, make sure you're ready to pounce on their website tomorrow when they drop, as we have seen bots making a bit of a comeback recently. Also, make sure to turn on notifications, smash that like button, comment below, and subscribe to the Dave and Adams YouTube page. And follow us on social channels, at DA Card World, so you never miss an episode of Card News Now. And get excited, folks, because this week we're giving away a hobby box of that new 2021-22 Upper Deck Synergy Hockey to one lucky subscriber. The winner will be announced this Friday, February 3rd, so make sure you have those notifications on. Next up, we had a big time auction sale late last week after Heritage Auction successfully sold an SGC 8 1952 Mickey Mantle for $600,000 through their auction house. Fun fact too, this is one of the cards uncovered by Alan Rosen in his famous 1986 find. The Mantle was graded at 8 by SGC and is one of the highest graded 1952 Mantles ever as SGC themselves have only given two 9s, two 8.5s and of course that lone 9.5 that set the sport card record for highest sale ever back in August to 1951 Mantles in general so this one is in good company. 
Some actually believe this card may grade even higher if crossed over, as the corners are sharp and the surface is clean, but the overall grade is held back because of its poor centering. But regardless, it's still a massive sale for one of the most iconic cards in hobby history. Finally, if you watch Card News Now or consume other David and M's content, then you are sure to be familiar with our hobby talk show, The Chase, with Troy LaCastro and David Yarger every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on the DA Card World Twitch, live at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Well, get ready for some fun because they are set to go live for their 100th episode this Wednesday, February 1st, and you're all invited to the celebration. We'll have a special 100 minute long episode that'll feature multiple guests, including Dave and Adam's CEO himself, Adam Martin, Panini's VP of Sales and Product Development, DJ Kaz Mirzak, Card Collector 2, and more. Plus, we'll be giving away over $4,000 in sealed Panini boxes to people just tuned in live and being active in the chat. We have a lot of fun planned for you all for this one, so make sure that you're tuned into the DA Card World Twitch this Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time for what's sure to be a good time. But that'll do it for today's edition of Card News Now. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow, collectors. $4,000. The people just tuned in live and being active in